hello guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so today we will talk about how to compare screenshot in the playwright so i have interesting story like when i was uh, in the my previous company in 2014 or 15 we have we were writing uh, selenium scripts and uh, we had one feature where we need to upload the logo of the website and verify like this logo is the same as what we have uploaded so for that we need to write automation script so that time we didn't find any suitable ways in selenium so i jump into my knowledge and uh, we start uh, exploring image processing algorithms and all and we had did some kind of uh, jugad and uh, it was not working even properly but today nowadays like with playwright you can do it easily so let's start so what we need to do is like uh, let's uh, me create one uh, new file uh, let's say screenshots dot spec dot ts so this is a new screenshot file we have created let's create one test uh, named it compare screenshot so in this video we will talk about how we can we compare the screenshot with uh, directly with the full screenshot or with a component like uh, if you have one div and you want to compare only this piece how you can do that so uh, let's start with first uh, go to the google.com and we will compare the home page so every time when i go to the google dot page it should have same the home page so let's do it first so wait page dot uh, go to so this is the basic scripting every should everybody should know by now so i have already created basic videos if you are not comfortable so we are doing this google.com and uh, it will go to google.com now what we do is we will compare the screenshot so when you go to the google.com right so when you write uh, this google.com so it will open the home page so every time it should have same logo same search bar button and all so if you don't want to compare each and every element you can directly compare the screenshot so if you go to the page to have screenshot uh, we can do it like this await expect page dot to have screenshot and you can give the name of the screenshot so here I am writing await expect this page whole page I want to compare dot to have screenshot this is the method that compares the screenshot I want to give name as google.png so it will create one google.png file and uh, it will uh, compare this to the page whatever the screenshot we will get from the page so let's run this much code first so i have run in previously so i am deleting this uh, and let's run first uh, from the press so i have write this now i am running with ui so you can know the how to run this so let's go to the google uh, ui first and uh, so when you write uh, run this first time what it does is like it will generate the screenshot first so right now we don't have any screenshots here so with whom it will compare right so first when you run this it will generate screenshot so first time it will fail if you have put screenshot uh, by uh, uh, here like this then it will work so if you see the it has created three screenshots one for chrome firefox and one for webkit so we are running in all three so it will create different screenshot in different browsers also if you are operating system using different like windows would have different screenshot linux would have different and uh, uh, or mac would have different because it the image processing uh, the screenshot how it generates like and uh, image processing that is change in different uh, with operating system and different browsers so to compare it it should have different screenshot so now it has generated screenshot now if we run again so it should work now So we are running this again. And you are seeing like it got passed for Chrome, Firefox and WebKit. In all three it got passed. So it has compared all the screenshots. So whenever it goes to google.com uh, first and it will check like it should have same screenshot. So if we can check the screenshot here. So every time you open in new browser where like there is no cookie and it asks for sign in and all. So this is the screenshot every time it should generate so this is for chrome this is firefox and this is for webkit so now we want to do more so if we google.com now we go to here and write like a 
population of China and I search so I want to compare this chart like every time this chart should be same so I click on this and uh, here you can see like uh, yeah so I want to check that whole team so this div I want to compare so what should I do is like I need to go to that uh, uh, Google search population of China and compare this uh, screenshot from, from this div so let's do it so first let's uh, generate code till now so if you have uh, watched my previous video where we learn about how to generate code automatically so I am going to code gen google.com so it will open google.com in code gen so it will generate code automatically so it will go to google.com and uh, here I am writing pop you sorry here I am writing pop your lesson of China and it generates this graph and uh, now I am clicking on that so we get the code here so click population of China I did the spelling mistake but I think it will work so I am putting this here so already have we have this google.com so click search population of China and enter so now we need to compare this all one right yeah, this div. so we get this uh, get by text so, okay this do doesn't look like but uh, uh, we will uh, fix it so let's uh, see what element it has So let me close this now and open developer tools. Why I am not able to open developer tools? Sorry, let's open developer tool here. We have so we have this, uh, I think, class name or something. Yeah, here we have class so with this class name we can compare that so let's use that class name so what we need to do is like await page dot uh, first we need to expect this now page dot locator so we need to find the locator of the div so we will pass that you class equal to so what was the class name this one sorry so class name we need to pass that now what we need to do is so we get that locator now we need to do to have screenshot and uh, we need to give the screenshot name so let's say Population.png. So now it should uh, create one population.png chart for that chart only. So whatever we are seeing from the div and it should compare it like every time it should get same. So let's try running. First time it will fail as uh, that image is not there. Sorry, not for them. I am. Let's. Uh, run screenshot spec dot ts so first time it will generate the screenshots for population and then it will compare it so if you see here we will get the charts for population and for only their chart so we got the screenshots now and now if we run that again it should compare that So now we are running that again.
and it got passed in Chrome. And in WebKit, it got failed. And in Firefox also, it got passed. So in WebKit, something happened like it is not same as what we have in the screenshot. So to check that, let's uh, see in the our test report. So this was the actual chart and uh, this was what we had in WebKit, right? Uh, okay, this is the actual what we had and uh, we have index.vm. So we had so opened with uh, Chrome only. So this is our report and this screenshot comparison in WebKit it got failed. <coughs> So let's rerun again without UI so we will get better screenshots. So sometimes what happens is like if uh, if page is not loaded directly or it takes time to load. So or uh, page uh, uh, like uh, elements are not loaded properly. It failed. So if you can see this got passed Chrome and WebKit, it failed in Firefox. So what happened? We can see like uh, this was this is a difference of the pixels. So actual was like this and expected was like this. So if you see in actual and expected, this dot is not there. Uh, so sometimes it is loading that dot and sometimes it is not loading that dot. So that's why it is fading. So for this kind of things, what it gives is like uh, it gives option to pass max fix difference. So what you can do is like uh, you can pass uh, max different pixel ratio. So if you pass this max pixel ratio, it will be how much uh, different you will allow. So if you want to allow some differences in the pixel, you can do. So max pi uh, different pixels, you can give the number called right. So here we can give it with comma, comma, max difference and we can give 1000 pixels for example. So we will allow that now 1000 pixels and we can run again. So if it, there is a difference between two screenshots is 1000 pixels then it will allow, it won't uh, uh, go that deep. But uh, if you want exact screenshot then don't give it max pixel difference but uh, uh, if uh, it is more than that, then uh, it will fail. So in the Firefox, it got failed again. So here, like uh, there are much pixel difference than thousand pixels. So this is how you can write this. So most of the things we have covered with the screenshot. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. And also, please subscribe this channel and uh, share it to your peer friend. And don't forget to like this video if it is helpful to you. So these are the other methods you can check out. I am uh, giving link in the description. Also there are social media links in the description. You can uh, contact me if you have any doubts. So thank you.